Continue from the previous section or load the file office suite render underscore zero five dot max. In this section, we're going to adjust the settings for our light meter helper and we're going to capture the viewport to show the light meter helper values that reflect our daylight factor. So select the light meter helper object, switch over to the modify tab, and in the display parameters rollout, click on daylight factor. Now we want to adjust the value of our color. Right now you see everything is blue and our value goes to a maximum of it looks like 11.6 percent of daylight. In order to change that we'll click on the pseudo color edit option. That opens the lighting analysis assistant and in the analysis value color coding rollout we're going to set the minimum value to zero. And the maximum value, since our maximum percent is 11.6, we can set the maximum value to 0.12, which would be 12%. Since we're not dealing with lux here, we're actually dealing with percent. Zero to one in mental ray is the equivalent to zero to 100%. So 0.12 becomes 12%. You'll notice in the viewport now we have a nice gradation of color from red all the way to blue. Now let's capture this viewport using the tool under the tools menu called grab viewport. So click on grab viewport. We can name this viewport if we want. Name it daylight factor. and click grab and it puts a little box down here that says daylight factor we can save this image and call it daylight factor viewport dot png and since I already have one, it's going to ask me if I want to overwrite it. I'm going to say yes. It will bring up the PNG configuration options. We'll save it to an RGB 24-bit. Click OK. We've saved that file down to our hard drive for later use, whether we're going to use it in a PowerPoint presentation or we're going to just sit down and review it with some other engineers or architects. So once we're finished with this, we can close our dialogues. And we're ready to go.